own sound and silence. Um, so if you're on the back of a page or something, if you will write this, I want you to write uh, A, B, C, D. Uh, right across A, B, C, D. Oh, underneath that, write E, F, G. And underneath that, write L, M, N, O, P. And underneath that, Q, R, S. And under that, T, U, B. And then underneath that, W, X, Y, Z. I was going to put it on the board up here, but it's kind of covered up. Now, if we were to say the first line loud, the second line soft, the third line loud, let's alternate. Let's just read what we've written there. Yeah, I the first line is loud. A, B, C, D. You're right. <laughs> and then quietly. All right, the next one. H-I-J-K and then softly All right, now if this were on the board and, and you see it's loud and soft you could uh, erupt, cover some letters or have them not say but eventually you had, you had something that looked like this but you didn't have to have this because you can just put it on the chalkboard and then uh, we will read it and you can say loud soft a loud soft you do that we'll do one with numbers in the next class and we'll see that over there sticking out but anyway you can do the acts and I think after you do that you'll even be like to do this again uh, but you can cover those letters and they would keep the rhythm. A, B, D. All right. Uh, so let's see what we have there. So we got the letters. We've got the uh, poster body sign scales. Uh, the body signs are over there. If you sing the little song, one, two, tie my shoe. To sing it right. So here we go. One, two, tie my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. You know, when it comes to body signs, I don't know about you. Some people are really afraid to try to use them because you think, oh, that's. <laughs> but with preschool, we just start with these. Mm -hmm. And then eventually we'll go up to the head for a while. But we just. Uh, take what's there in front of us, and that helps them to sense that. So when you have an opportunity to do that, do. And in every uh, book, you'll find uh, some kind of body scale sign. And if you don't have this, you can look again online, and you'll find it somewhere for the body scale. Uh, now, let's look at year three. Living in the Light. This was an interesting one. Let me show you the melody map for this one. It's a long one. All right. What you're following here, this is page one. You're singing where the lantern is. So you have that. Uh, I want you to look at uh, Let Your Light Shine. And you see there, here we go. I can pull this up here. Here we go. Let your light shine. One, page two. One of two. Here we go. Let your light shine for Jesus. And I can't get them up fast enough. But 
you see how that works. Mm -hmm. And the again, a, a map of the melody. And you got your, so let's just do this. We've got the let your light shine for Jesus. Let your light shine every day. Let your light shine for Jesus. And now, are we going to come all the way down? As you work and play. So that's one that as the children sing, they might do that with you. All right, but you say, I don't have that. Uh, so let's look at something that we can do. There's one activity about rhythm cups, and uh, they had cards with the cups, but why don't we just put the cups up here? They had um, white cups and red cups, and it was tap, 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 tap. If there was a white cup, it would have been tap, tap, tap. But we'll just use a cotton ball. So let's have eight of these. And they take turns. They put the cotton ball wherever they want. Okay? So we've got one, one. And then they get to rearrange. And these are lovely, big cotton balls. So here we go. Oh, you're smart. Very good. <laughs> All right, so now that's something you don't have to get it out of a, uh, a kit. You could have gotten something out of the uh, magazine that told you what to do, but you can do it without the magazine. All right, now we've got some other things in there. Uh, it has animal sounds and silence. So I will show you what was there. And let's do this one first. Because this is going to be, that's like the white cotton ball thing. So here we go. Quack, 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 quack. quack. something like that. Look at your handouts and you do have this page. All right. Show you over here. Here are your cards. Duck, pony, pig, and cow. So, obviously, you're going to go duck, Pony, pig, cow. And we, we rearrange them. And then finally we turn one under. Mm -hmm. And we got duck, pony, cow. Now, you've got that sheet. You can print many copies. You can make your own cards and play with it as long as you want to. So your homework is to do that when you get home. Uh, all right, and then the very next year, Choosing God's Way. All right, it was interesting that I had chosen to do this before I knew Ken Needham. <laughs> uh, but this is a song that uh, he wrote for us because we, we wanted a little prayer song and we were trying to use uh, Lord Listen to Your Children Play It, Pray It. And let's say, well, why don't we just ask him to write one? And so he probably doesn't remember he wrote it, but uh, it, was, it was a while back. But in the units, I gave pictures of him, and then the song itself. And let's see what's in the middle of that. Because it also, in that particular 
unit showed you, uh, you talked about loud and soft, mm -hmm. and just let them see. Again, we're making friends with this. And this song has an A and a B section. So, um, let's, I think I have this song up here. Yes. So, let's find the starting note. And it's dark, so it won't be on there.
Now you'll get a slow one occasionally that 
uh, it doesn't really work, but most of them will. Anything that is easy. Yeah, you've done that before. Okay. All right, so you've got that, and uh, but in using it with the children, just stay, just stay on one line. Or uh, this, they're all playing, and you can just do that as many times. Or you're holding up the E on using the chart. You're doing this. And so just hold it up. And it teaches them to begin to read left to right. And of course they're doing sound in silence. Now if you buy the plates, if you buy the plastic ones, they make a lot more noise and more fun. But uh, <laughs> these are paper and you may prefer. <laughs> you may prefer those. But uh, yeah, the plastic a little bit more expensive and they but they do, they're fun. They really are. And for a small group, that would work. Okay, let's see what else we got. <laughs> All right, I also wanted to uh, mention loud and soft puppets, but they're over there. We'll talk about them. No, they're not in this. Okay, uh, we showed the loud and soft sign. This would be the loud woof, woof, woof. And I don't get my, but then your, your soft little brain. So if, if you're singing loud or soft, you might want to illustrate it with puppets. <laughs> he, his mouth doesn't open, but you know what that would be. A soft little mouth. Okay. Now, if you, uh, well, in your handouts, we also have some little dogs. All right, he's asleep, and you should have one that's awake. Do you have one on the opposite side? Now these, again, you can cut apart. You can just like you did the animal cards. Or you can uh, print them different sizes, and you've got uh, what bark, bark, sleep, woof, 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 sleep, woof, 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 sleep, and what this be? Woof, 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 sleep. Uh, we made kazoo's, uh, paper towel tubes. I brought one, but it kind of died in the Bible. It doesn't look too good. Um, paper towel tubes, I think, were made for children's choirs because a piece of construction paper will just wrap around it perfectly. You tape it just to keep it in place, put a circle of wax paper on one end, and tape it so it'll stay in place, and then you hum in the other end. And um, so we just saw the dogs, all right? I want you to play your kazoos. We're gonna do hot cross buns. And it's gonna go long, 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 short, 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 long, 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 so you have, and then they can go home and play their kazoos for the kids. <laughs> You'll hear them going down the hall. But this is this little poster does the same thing. Long, 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 short, 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 long, long, long. So you take what you have there and be creative with it. Okay. Now then. We are going to go to yes. be strong in the Lord. And I wanted you to hear uh, this song. This one I put on a long time while ago. Uh, look how simple the song is. I love you, God, because you love me every moment of every day. 
I love you, God, because you love me every moment, every day. How much more simple could it be? I love you, God, because you're with me. All right, listen to how they put this together, how beautifully it's done. And uh, preschooler sing that and shout you know yeah. one Sunday uh, they they brought all the preschoolers in to sing for a worship service we we do not have choirs as such at the church where I am now uh, it's a contemporary church and contemporary music and I've had to learn to adapt uh, as editor once said if it ain't broke don't fix it and uh, uh, but I'm learning uh, the way people worship that's different from my traditional way and I'll look at the congregation from the choir and uh, we are really more of a presence to look happy and pleased with our message uh, but I see the congregation engaged and excited so I, I'm seeing that it works and so I don't have to fix it but um, anyway they brought the little preschoolers in one Sunday to sing and I tell you, they were screaming. It was, I mean, even the parents were thinking, ugh. But then they turned right around and they sang something, not that, but something that was so beautiful. And so there is a difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just, we do it in the music that we present to them. And uh, if we act like we don't like it, they're not like it either. We have to be, uh, promote what that song, that's a beautiful way to say I love you, God. You know, we sing Jesus loves me, but how many times do we turn it around and sing it the other way? So I just think that's a very beautiful, but you've got the simple, simple uh, song that you can take home with you. Okay, uh, now, one activity that was in this year was to make bells. Did you all get to make a bell? Yes, Okay, if you do, the supplies for bells are over there, and uh, uh, they are, uh, are bells to a preschooler. I have a minute to get Yeah, if you want to go grab it, you can sit there and make it while you're sitting on it, because it's not that hard to do. And then uh, I would show you uh, one more thing from there, and it is... Uh, Oh, 
Okay, Bible pulls. I'm just going to say what he's doing on the row. Everybody get on your knees. does not have a purple purse. Can you find the one that does not have a purple purse? And you can put an X on her. Find the one that does not have blue shoes. And you can put an X on her. Okay. You mean it does? There's several ones. There's one purple purse and one blue purse. So it should be it does. Am I reading Oh, I'm reading it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't have time to do all the six. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, no, right. I'm sorry. Miss Jenny Jones does not have a purple purse. All right. So you know that that, that one's eliminated. She does not have blue shoes. So you know that she is eliminated. And he does, she does not have glasses. So you know, and you're going to keep going, just taking away one of those, uh, well, you may need to know, uh, with the purple purse, blue shoes, glasses, strawberry cake, necklace, frowning, she's not frowning, brown eyes, green dress, and there would be one left, and that would be Miss Jenny Jones. So the song, do I need to read it again? I will. Uh, you can just put a little X by it. Miss Jenny Jones does not have a purple purse, put an X. Miss Jenny Jones does not have blue shoes, put an X. Miss Jenny Jones does not have glasses, so you'd put an X. Does not, and she's not holding a strawberry cake. She does not have a necklace. She is not frowning. And she does not have brown eyes. And she does not have a green dress. So that would leave one. Now this is the speedy version of this. In between your each, you're going to sing, who, uh, we, uh, we have found Miss Jenny Jones, Jenny Jones, Jenny Jones. We have found Miss Jenny Jones. We have found her today. You can say, who has found Miss Jenny Jones? Or uh, who can find Miss Jenny Jones? And then the last thing is you have found her. Okay, that's just, uh, and Miss Jenny Jones, uh, this is uh, a sample page from... I'm not going to say you can't copy that, but we might could copy that. <laughs> it's one page, it's promotion. Okay. Uh, now, I just thought it was a cute thing. It was from the kid page, and that's the main thing. The kids' pages, that one takes a little bit longer to do. Uh, some of them are very fast. And so, uh, but you have a kid page for each week and uh, for in those sessions. Okay, then we go to All Creation Scenes. One of the things in there that I thought was really fun was uh, the Bark and Sleep cards, and I've already shown you those. You have them on your handout. Now, it also showed you how to make a palm branch, and I thought, okay, how are you going to make, let's, before I show you mine, how have you made palm branches? Have, have you ever made palm? Yeah, what did you use? Construction paper. Construction paper. Construction paper. And you cut them out. Okay. Uh, this one that I found, they put their hands uh, down. And I just glued about three hands together. So now when you do an activity like this, that's when you need to bring some extra helpers in because that's a lot of cutting. 
but you know that's okay to just call two or three moms and say could you come and help with the scissor project today and uh and you could you could do one handful but two or three makes it look more real and then you have a song for palm sunday that and let them wave it like irish i don't remember that <laughs> Um, so how did, did you cut them for the children or did they cut them? Okay. Yeah, they go line on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there are many, many ways to make them, but that just makes that more meaningful to be able to see that. Okay. Um, we've got one more. This is a, oh, that's, that's another kid page. I was going to ask you. Uh, we're looking at that where it sounds in silence again. You see he's speaking and not speaking. He's clapping and not clapping. Uh, and then finally at the bottom you see the actual notation. Is there a way to stretch that? If you had that, how long does it take him to do that? So if you're, you could do this at the end of choir while you're waiting on parents. Mm -hmm. You might want to cut those apart and spread them out, you know, have twice as many faces where they could arrange them, uh, twice as many sets of hands, and they could do the arranging and clapping. Uh, they could do the arranging and tap rhythm sticks uh, in the instrument of their choice. And then you finally show them, look, it can, somebody plays a piano, they look at notes. And that's a walking note, you know, when we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, those are walking notes. And that's the way it looks on the page. And that looks just like that. And so when they see it again, they might remember, they might not, but they're playing it in their head. Uh, one of these books that is down here on the language of music has a lot of things like that in it. These are all reproducible pages of ways to introduce symbols as music friends. Okay. Um, the Fruit of the Spirit had a game in it. Anybody remember that? Did the children respond to that? Let's see. I think we looked at it when we were playing. It's kind of hard to read from the book. The, the, it's like, well, any children's game where they progress and they have to do what it says. And I'm sorry we can't read it better than that. I can only read when they finally get to the end. And the way that it's done, though, to keep uh, it being uh, embarrassing to a child or intimidating is when the child lands on something, uh, the teacher says uh, sings it and then the uh, person the choir sings it and then if that person wants to sing it by themselves they can but the main thing is the teacher sings it they echo sing it and then if the child wants to they can but we don't want to put them on the spot and make them feel very nervous um, then um, help me be like you is a flip it card this is another song, and it has with it a flip it card where you have one person or a choir singing because this is going to be a teacher choir song. So here it is. You know how we did it? We did it as two groups. Oh, yeah. And one set of kids sang it the first part and the second. Yeah, and that's good. And that's how we performed it. The kids loved it. Oh, really? So, well, that would be good for them. You know, uh, we really haven't had an occasion to talk about performance much, but uh, they're going to, your parents are probably going to hear them Christmas, end of year, at, in some shape, form, fashion. But in between, arrange some times for the parents to come in because they need to see them playing bells. They need to see them tapping drums. And they, so anyway, this little song, here we go. Uh, everything start from their chart. We jump to the piano. 
All right, here we go. Uh, I'll, I'll, we'll do it later and shorter. God, you are kind. God, you are kind. There is none like you. There is none like you. Help me to be kind. Help me to be kind. Help me be like you. Help me be like you. All right, now we'll do it like she did here. Group one, then group two over there. So y'all are group one. All right, here we go. This is, uh, it's the second time through, but it's the same word. God, you are kind. God, you are kind. There is none like you. There is none like you. Help me to be kind. Help me to be kind. Help me be like you. Help me be like you. And of course, if you have a two-syllable word, God, you are faithful. You can make syllables like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and those are beautiful things to be singing about, to be uh, trying to relate fruits that are growing on trees or things that are growing inside of our hearts. And so it's very good to be able to emphasize it through music. And then you had the pull-out cards, uh, and it was about the characters that they were singing about. And uh, we just have these uh, placed in the Bible, and the child pulls out a card, and you read it. And uh, this talks about Timothy was taught about God by his mother and grandmother. They told him to obey the things he learned in the Bible. Did he choose to obey? Yeah. And so you can make these up. Uh, you don't have to have these. But that's a good thing for your helper who doesn't know music to create some of these cards. Okay. Uh, now, the, I think I, I did say this earlier. But your craft sticks... Uh, you, if you have to choose, and everybody can't get to do it, be sure you keep these in your room. They've got the child's name on them. When that child has a turn, it goes into the other bucket, other bucket, so that everybody's going to get a turn before we start again. So you've got two turns. So we know that I'm going to get a turn again, but I've got to get this bucket full over here. But you gotta have some craft sticks. Oh, good. Now we're gonna flip back again. Okay. Uh, all right. The next uh, unit that we uh, we come to would be champions, and there we are over there. So we've done that. Now I hope that you have learned some things that you can come in, up with on your own. You think? Uh, say after me. I will, I will create, create my own supplies, my own supplies when, there's nothing on the shelf, when there's nothing on the shelf. Because these are like pocket perks. Now, the next class is in that bucket over there. And that will just be a whole bunch of things. And uh, so... Uh, You've got a little bit of time here. I think you've got about five minutes, uh, unless you want to look or touch or ask a question. Um, we're good. The, the what? Oh, look. I'm sorry. Did everybody get a card in? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Miss Susie, did you get a card in here? Mm -hmm. Well, you better put one in. I'll draw. You'll draw? Okay. <laughs> She's all <told> this. <laughs> all right. Natalie, Whitley. Tell Natalie what she is. Jenny Sweet. Hey. Well, Jenny, you don't get a lot of sports now. Because <laughs> I think we're down to two books. However, Jenny, you can have my CD player when the choir's over if you want it. I promise you. 
I'm giving it away because if I have one at home, and uh, it's fresh out of the box. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I want to see it. And furthermore, I think I brought the directions with me. 